And we hope that the game volume is good. Anyways, back at it again. Pokemon Platinum. Eternal Valentine's Day gift to you. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. But anyways, yes, we are back. Oh, man. Well, let's check the journal first, and then we'll draw the little face. March 2nd, Wednesday. Started from Route 208. March 1st, Tuesday. That was yesterday. Started from Route 206. Got through Mount Coronet. Great ball was obtained. Used Rock Smash at Route 208. Either was obtained. Defeated Ponyta in the morning and battled Hannah at Route 28. Okay. Well, that's that. Um, so we do this. And then what should I draw that happened yesterday? Um, hmm. Well, if I suppose if I know how to draw it, here. Let's see if I can draw this right. It's like kind of hard to tell what this is, but it's a type of food, and I don't think I would mind it, but I would want to be around it all the time. So how how would this go? Kind of like this. If y'all can guess what that is, uh, congratulations to you. Because honestly, I probably wouldn't be able to guess what that is when I look at it and I don't already know what it is. So, you know, good luck with that. But let's see. I bet there is, there is actually a cutscene here, isn't there? It's like somewhere over here the cutscene is going to happen. Not going down there yet. We'll save that for later. Route 208, Route 212. Okay. Yep, see? What did I say? What did I say? Bun Bun! Oh, thank goodness that you happen to be here. There. If it weren't for you, who knows how far away my Beniri could have run. Bun Buns are fast. Baby Beniri, back into the Pokeball you go. I'm Kira. I'm a Pokemon contest judge. Be sure to drop by the contest hall so I can thank you properly. Okay. I hope y'all can hear the game volume, like I said, because this music's pretty good. You're a trainer, aren't you? Are you? You've got two choices of challenges, either the gym or a contest, right? Well, I mean, I don't think I could do the gym here for a while. I'm pretty sure I have to do other shit first. Hearthome City, warm and kind. Oh, you're damn right. Check these plants, too. You never know. You never can be sh too sure. I want to check these waterfall water fountains too, because there might just be like the water plate or f or something splash plate, something like that. Oh, they're gonna be blocking the ring. Round two hundred nine, Salacion Town. I am Professor Fred, and this is what he told me: if you leave a pair of Pokemon with the daycare. Sometimes eggs are found, or things that are like eggs anyway. I wonder how my pal Professor Elm is doing these days. <sighs> You're talking about Generation 2 one from, that is a cool, I love Generation 2, it's really cool. He always was, he was always a quiet sort, he didn't really stand out. Oh, I thought for sure he was going to fucking give me an egg. Oh well. This maybe particularly is popping. Did you know? They found an egg out of the daycare in Celestion Town past year. Did you know? They find eggs in the far off Johto region too. Yeah, that's what he was talking about, the Johto region. That's where Professor Elm, I'm pretty sure, is his professor at. So one of these is gonna have an item, I just have a feeling. Just have a grand feeling it will. Okay, not there. 
I'm visiting here all the way from the Helen region. Oh, third generation. Okay. Damn. Everyone's just having a party in this region. Shit. I had been helping to find the contest hall, but being knew I lost my way. Fortunately, the local people were very... Local people very kindly led me to my destination. I was impressed by their kindness and generosity to a complete stranger. Now may I offer you the courtesy of showing you the contest hall? No. Oh, I do apologize. I should mind my own boys business. No, you're good, man. Oh my god, what is this fucking lag? Speed up. Cure the lag. Okay, that kind of cured it. Pokemon Fan Club. All trainers welcome. Oh. Well, hello there. <sighs> Do you want to fight or something, woman? My Luxray is ready to go. She's ready to rock and roll. Hello, I'm with Jubilife TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? Sure. Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. Your Luxray is, your Luxray is quite appealing, isn't it? Oh, yes, she is. She's very luxurious. May I have your comment on your Luxray? Oh, damn, what should I... Lifestyle, you know? She is very... Hmm... What is a good way to describe my luxury? Mm. The one I was going to go with from this one was going to be, where is it? It was going to be Festival. Yeah, I think she's quite the festival to us. She's so entertaining. So yes, she's incredibly awesome, Festival Luxray. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program. Please do tune in and see how you look on TV. Okay. Oh, hey, the Bun Bun. Hey, Bun Bun, how you doing? Hey, go on away from me. Ca -ca! What? Are you a bard? Pip pee. Psyduck too. Gua gua. Okay. Welcome to the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh, your Luxray. It's simply a towards you. Why? I feel like I'm intruding. Well. Hello, hello. How I say, how do you do? I am the Pokemon Fan Club. Charming, indeed, yes, I am. When you wish to treat your Pokemon to a treat, what I say, do you do? If I may say so, and I will, I feed Puffins to my Pokemon. And what I say, what I do that? Why I'd say, would I do that? Because the giving of Puffins is a way of expressing your love. For example, if I were to give a sweet Puffin to the, the Pokemon eating it, would become more cute. For example, a spicy Puffin will add the to the coolness of a Pokemon. In such ways, I say that Parfins have nothing but goodness for Pokemon. Now therefore, I declare this Parfin case to be a gift for me to you. <gasps> Thank you for the Parfin case. I obtained it, and I put the Parfin case in the key item's pocket. I urge you to fill it with Parfins and be generous in dispensing them to your Pokemon. Nationwide, there are other fan clubs, but we are number one. And why are we number one? Because I brag more than anyone. But now I can't brag as much. People started complaining, so I've had to curtail my bragging. Damn you and your bragging. Alright, let's see what this is. Can we use it? Poffin case. A case for storing poffin cook from berries. Oh. Huh. I'm probably not gonna fuck around with the poffins just because I'm like, I don't give a shit to do that. I really don't. 
I was going to say, you trying to block me, Clefairy? You trying to, you trying to throw some hands? Well, I'll beat your ass. All right, what's we got over here? Oh, there's a baby. Oh, there, miss. Wait, trash can. Okay, don't worry, I wasn't talking about you, miss. People all over the world follow Pokemon contests. What should I do? I should captivate the whole world. Me too. I'm going to do that. I'm the best beanie around. Hello. No contest. Then we have Amity Square. Amityville for Amityville. So, so, <laughs> uh, I don't know the rest of the song. It's been a while since I listened to that. Remember them? I'll listen to them anymore because he's, he's racist. He straight up said the N-word multiple times. So, at once. So it's like, no. Not allowed. Not a good idea. Fun fact, the only one I really listen to that is a direct uh, music creator is Tyler the Creator. It used to be Drake too, but then when I tried to listen to Drake's old, old songs, I was like, Ugh, I can't. So I just gave up on Drake. Drake is, don't get me wrong, he's got the, one of the, some of the most amazing songs, but he's just not my style. And um, the other songs I do have like in my favorite videos are songs or they're just like <laughs> straight up videos where it's like memes or something that it's not ear rape and then the favorite youtube poops is like that's for the stuff that's probably going to be ear rape but mostly memes so that's what i usually listen to well, if you're wondering if i'm like doing something with my book or i'm playing a video game if i'm not recording because obviously if i'm recording i need my headset for this so anyways yeah that's that's a thing so anyway hot home gets visitors from all over so things have to be nice and clean. I forgot that was the, the voice of the chairman, so I can't be giving it. Hearth home gets visitors from all over. So things have to be nice and clean. Okay. What about you? Oh, a shroomish. Hello, a shroomish. puff -wah! That's cute. My shroomish finds berries and things when we go to Amity Square. Oh, that's right. I won't be... Well, unless... Unless I can enter got a slave there but i don't think i'll be able to i think only it's, it's the baby pokemon sadly oh damn so there's not even any stairs okay all right fancy fancy there's only one floor oh okay then what is possibly up here let's see oh and there's a tv we'll talk to you guys first beep beep yes but I don't have a PP. I'll hide it in my beanie. I have something. <gasps> a shell bell. That's actually really good. Whoa. That is really, really good. I have something for your Pokemon to hold. Take this shell bell. I obtained the shell bell. I put the shell bell in the item's pocket. Shell bell is actually really good for now. Um, it's one of the greatest items that I can think of having because. I want Star Raptor to have something, and this will be perfect for him. Because honestly, yeah. The Shell Bell should be held by Pokemon in battles. The holder regains HP a little every time it inflicts damage. That was given to me when I was on vacation, but I already had one. Cool. So we're definitely going to be giving that to Star Raptor. Should be down here. Yeah, here it is. Shell Bell, an item to be held by Pokemon. The holder's HP is restored a little every time it inflicts damage. So basically exactly how she said. So you get that Shell Bell. There you go. Just for you. So now all my uh, team members have an item. That's awesome. Sinnoh now! This is it! The one you've all been waiting for! It's time for Sinnoh now! Your portal did what's been happening in Sinnoh. Here's the first story on the cutting edge of Sinnoh trends. Yeah, fucking fuck you, rich boy, bitch. Oh, okay. A careful, a Pokemon with a careful nature likes two better poffins. I'm not lying. I'm about a hundred two better poffins. and tested it myself. Fuck you. I don't care about your hot milk. Here's another story on the cutting edge. This is Helena bringing you the on-the-spot weather. Route 2016 is taking cover in a blizzard. Oh, that must be near the end of the game, because that's the only time where it snows over there. <laughs> Unless in the other parts where I haven't done in this game with the whole uh, post-game looker uh, 
mission thing. Some of you may brave the weather in hopes of finding rare Pokemon. Oh, I remember she said this in the beginning of the game. Under these extreme conditions. Be sure to dress extra warm and don't fall asleep. That's the weather brought to you by Helena. Here's another story on the cutting edge. Oh, he's going to talk about my group. Okay. What is the type this time? The rock type? Why would you say that? Okay. Sit out now goes the extra distance to bring you news. We promise to do our best to keep you informed with the news you want. See you again! Okay, is that it? Oh, I think this is new. Flood get it! Flood get it! Shift it up and shift it up down all the way around for the latest bicycles look up rad rickshaws cycle shop oh what this is probably for amity square enjoy relaxing time alone with that special pokemon yeah i knew it <laughs> hearth homes amity square oh another one a nature preserve where exotic pokemon room this is safari zone isn't it yeah, I knew it. <laughs> Pistoria City's Great Mar Safari Game. Okay. <laughs> you don't know what the, the gear thing, whenever I say that. Um, it's from One Piece, Luffy's stuff. Okay, so what's down here? Nothing? Oh my god. I was thinking there was something, but nope. Apparently not. So... Yeah, I don't know what else to draw, really. Unless there's something super interesting in this place. Um, like, in this city, but I don't know. I should be able to get through this city really fast. And when I take my baby out in this stroller, I see the town in a different way. I notice things like stairs and bumps in the sidewalk. Yeah, because you gotta be careful of the baby. What? That's what a baby? Hop, pop, pop, poo! Okay. Well, that was strange. <laughs> Alrighty then. So I gotta check these, though. You never know, guys. You never know. You never know what they could be hiding in these plants. Another baby. I can feel the baby stroller getting heavier each and every day. I wonder what kind of Pokemon my child will become friends with first. This one, you look like you would be friends with a. Hmm. Hmm. A Trico. Because you look like. You look like the boy. The main character guy from Generation 3. The little puffy hat thing. Papa, mama. Oh, you can speak. Incredible. What is this? Oh, shit, the Poffin House. Oh, no. <laughs> the Poffin House. Delicious Poffins. Smiles for all. All right, let's go in here. Fine. A lot of Poffins. Oh, what's this trash can? Damn it. I'll talk to everyone except for you. For... I'll talk to you last. Have you got some berries? To make delicious Poffins, the key ingredient is a rare berry. And the more cooks you have, the more delicious the bobbin. Was that all you had to say? Okay, that's all you had to say. Alright, alright. Eating good food makes people in Pokemon more energetic and happy. In that sense, we're exactly alike. Hmm. Maybe. Hi, let's get cooking. Here's my advice on cooking tasty poffins for your Pokemon crew. In the beginning, while it's... Still a batter, swirl it gently and avoid spillage. When it starts to harden, churn it fast in big circles. At the end, make a wish for it to turn scrumptious and whirl it. Okay. I don't want to be trying to make poffins for now. I might do it later in the game, no promises. Is this a girl or a boy? I don't I'm assuming you're a girl. Awesome agenda. <laughs> 
At the Wi-Fi club, I can cook poppins with my friends. That's cool. That's something I would like to do, but can't because it's an emulator. <laughs> Hello. Here you may cook berries and turn them and them into poppins. Would you like to cook alone or with other people? How about now? Please face it again whenever you get the arch to cook. I try to give her the Barry's mom's voice, where it's like, eh, okay, or something. I forget the fucking accent. I used a Firestone on my Pokemon and evolved. I've had people who play this game for the first time, like, oh, here, I Ponyta, use a Firestone. And then they're like, oh, why isn't it working? That lying bitch. <laughs> so they'd just be like, roasting this girl for no reason. That sounds funny. I'm going in that thing soon. Don't worry. What is behind here, though? Nothing? Nothing at all? What about back here? I guess there's gotta be something back here. Like, come on. Are you fucking kidding me? You fucking moving me right now? For real, for real? Okay. How you doing, though, miss? I like to live in Hearthstone when I get married. But my boyfriend wants to live in Veilstone because it's, of its game corner. Oh, that's right. There's something really good at the Veilstone game corner, I'm pretty sure. Uh, what did I give the artist voice? Oh, yeah, the French. They come in with the goods. No one knows my real name. Not even, no, not even I do. I dedicate myself to second realities. It's what I live for. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I'll find something rare for you. So, so talk to me some other time. Oh, okay. So is it like certain days of the week? That's cool. Most of the shit I forget. <laughs> Just letting you know. We cannot read the minds of others, which causes us to feel fear and doubt. But to control the aspects of the world beyond our senses is an impossibility. Okay, cool. When people of Pokemon join hands, everyone's happy. It makes everyone come together. It can even make the world one. Okay, what is this? Oh, okay then. Um, what the fuck is this? A grave? Like, what is this? I'm trying to think, well, what is the voice that I give this guy? He's kind of like excited. I remember encountering him in that cave under the bridge. And there do I see my father, my son, my life. And there do I see nature, Pokemon, the world. Okay. That people are lonely. It's only natural. It gives me compassion for others. It's what makes me look forward to a better tomorrow. But there are still moments of fondness for the past. Though time can heal some sadness. Not all of them. Yeah, you're right. There are still words that not everyone can describe. The words are love and joy. Why are you single? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> Pokemon people, it's only natural that we are all so very different. Make sure that you never judge a Pokemon on if it's weak or strong. You must always look for the good inside of them. That's what counts. Yeah, I know. You don't gotta tell me. I'm the Pokemon master. I'm a master of Pokemon. If the strong and able do too much, they limit the contributions of others. The strong must show restraint. This enables everyone to live together. It's sheer responsibility. Yeah, you're right. That is a, These are some good, wise words everyone's saying. The art of crafting things for these one spirit. When the spirit is healed, the desire to make something returns. It is such a wondrous cycle. Okay. Now, what do you got to say? Um. What did I give her voice? Oh, yeah. 
Mind and matter. It's no good if one is stronger than the other. Balance is what needs what's needed. That's the key. Alright. This was fucking weird. And there was straight up no music in that place. Is that, is that telling the player to be like, listen to the words? Damn, so I thought the city, I remember the city being way bigger. Amity Square, Westgate, Strollery Pokemon. Oh, it's this place, I remember. There better be something here. Bro, come on. Oh, I was going to say, come the fuck on. There better be something. And there was, it was on the tree. I wasn't expecting that. I went for a stroll in Anime Square with my Pachirisu today. We came across a Pokemon feather while we walked. Do you think it'd make my Pachirisu look any cuter? I mean, yeah. You can have one on the little tail. Cute, cute. We're going to heal up, though. We need the heals. Heal me up, girl. Woo. Good shit. Hey yo, how you doing? Ventina, the gym leader. Lex contest too. That lady has a huge appetite for experience everything in life. Okay, so she likes contests, huh? Hello, do you have a Pokemon case? If you haven't got one, it really you really must visit the Pokemon Fan Club. Oh don't worry, I got one. Thank you, miss. Thank you very much. How you doing? Have you checked out the Global Terminal Tomb Life City? No, I have not. And I don't think I'll ever will. Because <laughs> there's no fucking point. I know there's some accessories and shit. But I don't want it. I don't want to talk to everyone in there, no. Hey, Jesus. Dead a Wi-Fi connection. I can't explain it, but it's wicked. Wicked cool, man. Yes. I agree. But anyway, we do have Togepi. They probably will let me walk that in Amity Square. Yeah, what the hell are you doing? What you doing? I lived in total seclusion up in the mountains for 30 years. I'm going to clean up some contests with a dance move I came up with. For 30 damn years? Oh my god, what were you doing up there? Hopefully training at least. Jeez, man. Crazy. Some crazy son of a bitches. I don't remember if I checked these, that's why I'm checking them right now. <laughs> Y'all are probably like, stop checking the fucking plants! No, I wanna check them, so leave me alone. What the hell? <gasps> You're the one who made the PC, aren't you? I forget her name in this one. Pokemon Battle Watch! Good morning, everyone! Or, good morning, everyone keeping up the good battle! It's time for our Pokemon Battle Watch, where we do in-depth analysis of uh, hot-blooded battling trainers. Let's get on with the show, Battle Watch. Newscaster. We bring we bring you this breaking news story. While traveling in the vicinity of a turtle city, Paul I and I uh, discovered a hidden Draco plate. Yeah, it was crazy. I really, I still am like surprised that I found that because I had no idea that was even there. I was just checking and shit. The methodology methodology employed by Paul and M is unknown. Eyewitnesses report Paul and M appear to be very fur furative. Paul and M reportedly scanned the area often as a fearing detection. This concludes the special news story. Let's move on let's move to the next segment, Battle Watch. DJ, gotta catch mo it's catch it's the catch the Pokemon show. So let me tell you about the shows featuring Pokemon Catch Trainer. The trainer that caught our eye with a dandy of a catch is other than not other than the intestinal Paul I and M. And what you may ask yourself, did Paul and M catch why another What? Boy, you are late. Late to the party. That was in the beginning of the fucking game. Come on, dude. Oh, hang on a second. I got a hot new update. You fuck. Oh my god. You're lame. You're whack. Pokemon Battle Watch needs your help. We're always after news about your hot Pokemon battles. We'd also love it if you'd mix records with your friends in the reunion, union room. That way we can get battle news about your friends too. 
Let's meet here again here. Battle watch. And that's it, isn't it? One more. Okay. What does this say? Nothing? Okay. You are the one who made the Pokemon box storage I use. I, uh, oh, you're a trainer? That means you're using Pokemon boxes. I love meeting end users. Oh, what's up? Why that astonished look? Oh, what's up? Why that astonished look? Oh, right, sorry. There I go, running my mouth again. My name's Bebe. <laughs> Bebe. Oh, that's what your name was. I had. I was going to say something like Phoebe or, or Fian or something, but no, it was <laughs> something that I didn't try to guess. <laughs> Because <laughs> honestly, it's been too long since I played this generation, let alone Pokemon Platinum. You know the PC boxes? I'm the system administrator. I know this is out of the blue, but do you want a Pokemon named Eevee? Oh, well, sure. Here you go. That Eevee, I got it from a good friend in Johto, who has a whole lot of them. Who knows how many Eevees he's raised over the years. Oh, you're talking about Bill. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's t she's talking about Bill. Sorry, that doesn't mean anything to you. Please be good to it. I think you can sh could have shiny hunted this thing, but honestly, yeah, I don't know. Shiny hunting is going to be like a last resort thing I'll be doing on this, and um, I can always save the shiny hunting Eevee for another game, like specifically our gold or soul silver, because that's how you can get it from. You can get it from Bill. And I think also the lottery corner too. So you can shiny hunt that. <sighs> oh yeah, but then again, no, but you can evolve because it's still fourth generation hard gold, soul silver. Yeah. Nope, don't want a nickname. Yeah, see, Bill. I <laughs> see. My buddy Bill developed the basic Pokemon box storage system. I think you're with it here and there to make it easier to use. Yeah, she was talking about Bill. Watch it as a shiny, though. Nope, okay. Kind of glad. Hey, a modest name. What is with me getting modest natures? What the hell? Well, I should be able to use this one to walk in the Amity Square. I should most definitely be able to. Check behind the house. Because you never know. How are you doing, by the way? I can't decide what accessories I should dress up Pokemon with. There are just so many kinds. Oh, it's you again. Hello there. This place is beautiful, perhaps even too much so. People, uh, Pokemon, people, and nature are in the perfect harmony here. Okay. You're right. Was there someone walking here? I swear. Oh, I knew I saw something. I can say Pokemon all day long, but there sure are many kinds. How many are there now? A lot of them. That's all I know. A whole lot. Oh, this guy's with the, uh, yeah, the gym. Hartholm City, Pokemon Gym, Leader Fatina, the alluring soulful dancer. At the Lost Tower, people unburden themselves off unbearable sorrow. You'll understand what I mean if you visit Lost Tower on Route 209. Get out the way, I want to look at the plant. Get out the fucking way. Move, bitch. Move out of the way. There you go. Thank you. Alright, I'm good now. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Amity Square, Eastgate. Stroll with your Pokemon. Yeah, I'll be doing that soon. Oh, hold on, hold on. Check this plant. Oh, I bet there's something right here. Hold on. Check these two. This, and this, and this, and this. Nope. What about this? Oh. Nope, nothing. Okay. What about you, mister? Hey there! How's it going, trainer? Oh, no, he speaks like this. Hey there! How's it going, trainer? You being here tells me you're going to challenge the gym leader. 
Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's impossible. You're questioning why, and the answer is, she's not here. Not to worry, though. We know she's at the contest hall. Come back another time, okay? I'll be waiting right here. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. I put my versus Seeker through its paces a lot. I battled this one intriguing trainer over and over using it. She asked me, do you like me? Like, oops. Ha 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 ha. Oh. Why not just say yes? You like her, but to battle her. Oh, I was hoping that I can... Well, maybe. Hold on. Let me see. Can I go through here? I don't think I can go through here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> God damn it. Okay, let's go check the other place we didn't check. What was this? And then then we um, go to the Amity Square. Damn, look at this place. This is packed with people and Pokemon. Just... When I grow up, I want to become a Pokemon coordinator. Hello, Goo Gaga. Goo Foo Foo. What? Pick a bee. Oh. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to say that. I was just saying, pick a pee, because I was like, oh, pick a joke, pick a pee. Oh, my God. That's actually really great. I love that. You know, just for that, I want to draw Pikachu. Here, go and draw one. Pick a pee. Pikachu, look down. How do you look? Oh, you look like that. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Pikachu do smell. <laughs> Pikachu! And then it's got the little things. It's got like these. Pikachu! Alright, there you go, Pikachu. Well now, you're, well now, you're a trainer. That makes you both Papa and Mama to your Pokemon. You know having, you know how having Pokemon around leads to new discoveries. It's the same for parents and kids. I'm always learning from my kids. Yeah, yeah. Wish some parents, wish all parents would fucking do that. Babies and Pokemon get along perfectly together. When babies take naps, Pokemon go to sleep right next to them. Oh, that's cute. That's something I, I would love about Pokemon to be like, oh, they're always there to chill out with you. When I get bigger, I'm going to be a Pokemon. I'm going to be a trainer, too. Good run to you. Good on you, dude. Oh, wow. You're a Pokemon trainer. Having lots of Pokemon around is a lot of responsibility. But that also comes with a lot of fun. Yeah, you're right. It is fun. The ultimate power of destruction. Oh, hello there. Let's just make so much noise. No one even notices me, senpai. Well, go, go say hello or something. Don't be such a, such a fucking downer. Come on, dude. Go put yourself out there. Only one floor again. Okay. Okay. What do I got? Oh, hey. Grandma and Grandpa, how are you doing? What the? Two of each? Whoa. Oh, no. There are no stairs in this house. It's easier that way. The lack of stairs makes it easy for the little Pokemon to get about. Ah. Okay. Hearthroom is a friendly, is a kid-friendly city. They say, but I disagree. Hearth Home is friendly to kids, grown-ups, and Pokemon, too. Alright. All my grandchildren are clamoring for a Pokemon of their own. It may be tricky to manage it, but it will brighten up the moon more. What about you, other Gramps? How you doing? So I kindly, in hopes of being treated Currently in return. But how could that be a bad thing? Yeah. That's not really bad. 
a trainer's day. This program offers unique looks into the daily lives of trainers. We cover a variety of topics that affect and concern trainers. Let's examine one aspect of the trainer's day. It's time for the love that group corner. Today we have the group maniac back as a guest speaker. Yeah! We've heard that Paul a &M has made a new group named In My OE. What's your take on this startling new development? Yeah, uh, sounds a okay to me, group in my OE. You're making a lot of sense. Tune in next time. Okay. Oh, what the hell? We bring you, we bring you this special news bulletin. We caught up with Paul A and M, who is in, on an adventure in Sinnoh. We got reports. The trainer switched the Pokemon in the active party. What does this report? Paul A and M took only male Pokemon from PC storage. <gasps> wow. What a, what a guy. He clearly doesn't like females. No, you bitch. I don't mind either of them. <laughs> yeah. So I think we've read this one before. I remember this shit. We seek tra we seek tips on trainer related news for coverage on the show. Please also consider Oh yeah, yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. Please tune in again next time. Goodbye, but just for now. Yep. Same shit, right? Same shit. One more. Okay. Alright, let's get out of here. Now we can go to the square. We go to the square. Should be able to use this Eevee. Or a Badoof. If not, I'll bring out Togepi because I'm sure that is a definite because I think it says like baby Pokemon are especially able to go in there. So, let's see. Oh, he's how cute that was here. Hey, look. You got a Psyduck, a Torchic, and a Drifloon. That is extra cute. That is very cute. Hyperpaul, they refuse entry to my Pokemon. Oh, my poor Garrett host is Steelix. This is discrimination. Oh, uh, man. Yeah, I felt that way back then, too. Not because I had this Pokemon. It's because, you know, I had the big-ass Pokemon. You can take a cute Pokemon out for a stroll in Amity Square. Oh, my God. This music is beautiful. I say that Pikachu. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. What? My Torterra is cute? What the hell? I was not expecting this. Alright, you cute son of a bitch. We're going. Okay, would you like to go for a stroll with your Torterra? You bet. <gasps> Torterra! Oh, shit! He's actually out of his Pokeball. What the hell? What is this? Please do enjoy your time together, just the two of you, okay? Torterra, be careful. Torterra gave you a contented yawn. Yawn! Appears to be feeling good. Seems to be enjoying the walk. Appears to be very happy. Seems to be enjoying the walk. Okay. Woo! <gasps> There's something shiny in Clefairy's hands. You should talk to your Pokemon. It can occasionally find things. You find anything, Torterra? Sniff in the grass. What do you sniff? Oh, you don't sniff anything? Okay. Whoa, a warpy thing. Crazy. <gasps> Amulet coin? What? Holy shit! That is incredible! That'll make us basically rich. Whoever's in the front of the party and throwing out in battle, I'll have them hold that so that we can double the money at the end of the battle. Holy shit! That's crazy. Did Harry find anything? No, you didn't find anything. It's okay. So if we go in here, we're just gonna end up on the other part, right? Okay, so we'll we'll come back. But that's crazy, though. Are you feeling refreshed? Please come again, okay? So, damn. That was awesome.
I can't believe I don't remember. Oh shit! Wait, there is a there is a thing. Okay, good. Hello, I'm with Jube Life TV. May I hit you up for a quick interview? Oh, you want to know about my cute Torterra? Thank you very much. Let's not waste any time. I'd like to hear about your straw with your Torterra. Can you tell me what you're feeling now? Oh, I am feeling. I am feeling. Um. Hmm. I am feeling surprised. I am quite surprised by the amulet coin. It is incredible. Thank you for sharing your thoughts with us. We'll be featuring this interview in an upcoming TV program. Please do tune in and see how you look on TV. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways. Lux Ray. You get the amulet coin. An item to be held by Pokemon. It doubles a battle's prize money if the Hoki the holding Pokemon joins in. So this Oh man. It's gonna be a real good one. Honestly, you can hold the dread plate, because you have a bite too. Staraptor's already fast enough, so yeah. That's crazy. We don't need to have Eevee in the party. I was really surprised by that. Honestly, I don't remember ever it letting me have Torterra in for a walk. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's so crazy. Because I can't remember the last time I used Torterra in this um, in this game, this Generation 4. Because I used it a long time ago. So I just assumed, like, oh, I don't need to use Torterra again in a Pokemon game. But I did. Alright. Eevee. Fucking go into Ting. Get in there, Eevee. Bam. Okay. Cool shit. So, <laughs> might as well make this. Oh, well, that's a fucked up. <laughs> Fucked up the dollar signs. Shit. <laughs> Monies. Oh, I should I should do that too. Monies, like money from Kingdom Hearts. I get the monies. Yes. Oh, hello. My Pikachu seems delighted to be out of its Pokeball for a walk outside. So you can tell because its cheeks are twitching away. Oh, really? What is it? Pick up Hey, you said the same thing as the other one. You're a fraud. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Oh, you said the same thing as the other one. Okay. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, I just... Oh, there. In Amity Square, you may go for a stroll with a cute Pokemon. Torterra. Well, sure, he's a real cutie. Come on, Torterra. Woo! Let's go. How are you feeling? Ah, Drifloon, hello! Foon, foon! Yeah, <laughs> that's so cool. I haven't seen a Drifloon yet in this game. That's good. These ruins are from lo a long, long time ago. This music really hidden different. I like it. How you doing, Torterra? You find anything good? No, it's okay. We got the great amulet coin. That is something... That is just incredible. Oh, TM43 secret power. Okay. I put TM43 in a TM's and HM's pocket. I'll have to check that later because I can't check it now. I'm pretty sure I can anyway. I should be checking all these flower spots. Hold on, let me, let me check these ones first. And then I'll check the ones over there.
Oh, you're tired, huh? Tired of all the bullshit? Me too. Me too, Torterra. Alright. Oh, hey, Pika B. Pika Pika! Okay, at least you say something different. Good. Oh, I just can't believe it. I am so, I'm so overjoyed with my Pikachu. Wherever I go, my Pikachu follows me without hesitation. Aha, uh -huh, it's just the two of us. Woohoo! Yeah, Pikachu. Dorterra, real good too. Dorterra. Dorterra, you like. <gasps> what the hell? Oh, Dorterra's holding something. The, mus the black mustache! Wow. Okay. Did you steal it from that guy? Good job, Torterra. You got him. You pranked him. You pranked him real good. Where does this go? Oh. TM45 attract. Huh. Put the TM45 in the TM's nature's pocket. That's a nice one, but I'm going to still sell it. So, how do you get to those other spots? How do you get to, like, right here? Is there a way to do that? But I'm just not understanding. Because there's no other way to go, as far as I'm concerned. So yeah, I don't know. Maybe you gotta do something in a certain order. Oh. So you can go to the left or the right. Yeah, or the top. So I'm seeing maybe if that's how you do it. I'm gonna do it to the other one too. What the hell? A Spallon berry? Oh, that's an actual berry? What the hell? All right, let's get out of here, Torterra. Oh my God, stop with the lag. Ah, oh, you're feeling refreshed? Please come again, okay? Okay, so I wanna go and go to the other one. Bro. Oh my fucking god. The lag. Can you not? The fucking... I feel like the ROM's gonna fucking crash. Can you just not? Please? Dude, he, he really just tried to cock block me there. Really? Don't make me whoop out mine. It's in my beanie. Well, I'll do it. So how the fuck... How do you get in there? Like, how? Terry, can you tell me how? How do we go over there? It's very suspicious. We're gonna have to do some tricks. And how do you get up there? What the hell? Why are you picking at the ground? What do you sense? Oh, okay. Go up. Go up again. Now we go to the left. Oh, what the fuck? So I was right. What the hell? Yo, what's up, dude? Hello, how do you do? I love this park. That's why I try to keep it neat and tidy. I don't mind the cleaning at all. I find all sorts of items doing so. It's quite fun often. Even deciding, oh, I know. Do you know the item Durinberry? I found some. Would you like them? Yeah. Five Durinberries. Ha ha ha. Perhaps I'll see you again tomorrow. That's crazy. I've never... I didn't know that's actually how you go to these places. Like, actually, I thought that was just, uh... It was just an honest guess. What the hell is this? 
Yo. There's got to be something here. Come on. This is a grand view, don't get me wrong, but... Come on, there's got to be something. Terry, can you sense something about this cliff? No. Okay. Well, we'll go left again. Oh! <gasps> this! Spooky plate! Oh! Nice! The ghost type plate. There is text engraved in the back of the attained plate. Three beings were born to bind time and space. And I put the spooky plate knight in his pocket. Damn! Nice! So I think I've got... Well, no, there's still that part where the girl is with her happini. I'm just going to look in this area, too, because I don't know when I'll be able to get back here. So you just go to the left? That's the trick? I didn't even know this was possible, guys. Like, that's so crazy. That's actually how you do this. Wow. I'm learning so many things about this game, and here I say this is my favorite game, and I don't know most things about it. Like, damn. This is crazy. Oh, shit! <laughs> what the hell? I think that's all of them now, yeah. I think that's all the places. Hello, how you doing? My opinion appears to be drowsy. I come here with my opinion every single day. I can let it run free without any worries at all. Doterra, what do you have to say? <gasps> You're holding something. A black mustache. Doterra, why do you like mustaches so much? Why do you like to pretend to trip? How? Torterra, how do you pretend to trip? You are a walking island. How the fuck? I would like to see how you pretend to trip. <laughs> like, actually, how did you do that? Alright, we're gonna go over here. Do the left, do the left. Oh, this is the other one that I didn't go to. Oh, well, I'm glad I kept going. Torterra, you see anything? You just appear very happy. That's that's great, Torterra. So is that it? I think that's all of them. I think that's all of the spots. I'm going to double check because I don't know. There might not be. That's crazy, all the stuff I've been getting. Like, damn. So much stuff. Oh, I was gonna say, what, I did? My, I used my bike in here earlier, but no, I don't think I did. I think I'm just thinking that I did, but I didn't. Oh my god, the lag, can you not? We only got a few more minutes left in this episode. Oh my god. I just wanna check. Hurry up, hurry up. Yeah, Torterra, come on out. Woo! Come on, let's go, Torterra! Woo! Alright, what else am I missing? I've been up there with that guy, right? Big boy was up there. Is he gonna move? Huh. Okay, then. Well, where else? Been up there. Oh, he's in a different spot now. What the fuck? Well, that's interesting. It's probably because he likes to move different spots. So, no, that's it. That was all the places. Cool. Well, I'll go I'll go back here tomorrow, just in case I missed anything else. But I don't think I missed anything else. Oh, yeah, I should read the items uh, after I go in front of the Pokemon. Pokemon. Actually, I should go in here just to see what's going on. The item revive is something I could use now, but I've only got two gym patches, so I can't buy it yet. Yeah, well, they got revival herbs, if you didn't know. Those are pretty amazing. Do you know Amity Square? It's a happy and cheerful place. You can find accessories there you can't buy in Pokemarts. You're right. What about you? You got anything good? Mm, no, not really. Okay. Well, we're going to check our items really quick. Spooky plate. An item to be held by a Pokemon. It is a stone tablet that boosts the power of ghost type moves. And then, uh, what are the other things we got? Oh yeah, the TMs. Secret power. An attack move with a, with effects that vary depending on the user's environment. It's a pretty good move, and this one's really good. 
If it is the opposite gender of the, poke, the user, the foe becomes infatuated and less likely to attack. Um, I'll read the berries tomorrow because it's literally about to end this episode. So, goodbye everyone. Uh, happy Valentine's Day. Dude.